So it's officially trade deadline week. The rumors are circulating a bit. They're not going crazy at the moment. For all I know, a move will happen as I'm doing this. But Clint Capella seems to be a thing right now. The idea for this would, of course, be the Rockets believe between small ball lineups, getting another wing, and probably some center back in a move like this, whether that's directly in this move or getting another one through the assets they might get in this one. Same thing goes for the wing player, that it would make them a better team. And I guess they would also hope that between P.J. Tucker and maybe Tyson Chandler, Nene, and then some other center they would end up with by the end of the week, that that would be enough for them to feel good about their front court situation. And the two wing players that they seem to be targeting are either Covington or Iguodala. And the way to do that would be you trade Capella to what seems to be an Eastern Conference team. Those seem to be the rumors right now. We'll get to it in a second. And then through draft picks and whatever you get back, you then trade that stuff for Covington or Iguodala. And I guess I'll start with the Celtics just because Woj just tweeted that they were involved in this. So... The interesting thing is the Celtics could actually get to Capella's number without giving up Marcus Smart. It's, you know, the Langford, Poye, Tice, or Cantor, not both of them, type of thing, right? And that would, you know, and you assume the Celtics would also give up um, one of their own picks, right? Or the Bucks pick, because that's going to be the 30th pick in the draft or whatever. And then maybe a couple of seconds, I don't know. And that would give Houston at least some of what they're looking for. It would give them that solid big who makes less money than Capella. And then between whatever picks they get and then the small like Langford and Gerald Green contracts, you put enough of those together, that would hopefully be enough for either the Wolves or the Grizzlies to give you the guy that you really want. Now, is there a chance that Houston would just really want Marcus Smart and they could view that as their wing acquisition? Well, potentially. I'd rather just keep Marcus Smart if I'm the Celtics, but who knows. Now, another thing with this with Boston is um, if Hayward is going to be on the team past next season, then uh, getting Capella could make him kind of expensive between Kemba, Hayward, Marcus, Tatum, and Jalen. So... And we got to care about that, of course. Maybe that would be another reason why Smart would be on the move. But again, I'd rather just keep Marcus Smart in a nice crop of centers than trading Smart for Capella, even if I'm keeping one of my centers. So there you go. If I can move on to the Hawks, they were, of course, in the drum and stuff not long ago. Weirdly enough, there's been like small little things of John Collins rumors, which I don't understand that one. I figured Atlanta would want to hold on to him, but I don't know. Things can get crazy. What would a move to Atlanta even look like for him? Evan Turner, Chandler Parsons contracts, and then I'm sure Houston would want the Brooklyn pick or even OKC's in 2022 because... Based on the way the Thunder are looking at this moment, they actually could be pretty good a couple years from now, so then that pick would be a first. But that Brooklyn pick is quietly pretty damn good right now. That's in the teens at the moment, so that pick becomes a little more interesting. But, you know, if Houston was able to gather basically, let's say perfect world, Houston gets exactly what they want because Atlanta's that desperate to get Capella, right? They've got Evan Turner and either OKC's or Brooklyn's first. OKC's is in 2022 again. That would probably be enough for Covington or Iguodala, and there's probably a world in which they could maybe grab Alex Len among all this as well, so there's your other center. Now, if it's not going to be Atlanta, I think it gets a little tougher because a lot of teams in the East are pretty set at center. I think Charlotte would be interesting. We remember that they were in the Drummond stuff for a little bit. Now, I guess you could argue about how much better Clint Capella really is than Cody Zeller. I mean, Zeller on a good day is a solid 10-10 and 10 guy who plays competent defense. But if you want to get a little more exciting and get somebody who's probably got higher potential than Zeller, then okay. There's your Capella move. And the Hornets also have the expirings that... I imagine the Rockets and then in turn the T-Wolves, because I just keep on assuming this is for Covington, would want. I mean, you're looking at 
Biombo's expiring, Marvin Williams expiring, Michael Kidd Gilchrist's expiring. All those pretty much line in with Covington and Capella's salaries. And the Hornets also have the um, the low minute center that Houston would probably want in Billy Hernan Gomez. But if they can use Capella to get the expiring and Hernan Gomez, and then you're trading that expiring and your own first, which I believe is 2022, for Covington, Iguodala, whoever. Okay. And then outside of that, I mean, maybe the Wizards, but honestly, I'd rather just keep Thomas Bryant and think about other things. So yeah, I mean, is there a chance Capella ends up in the West? I mean, I'm sure the Rockets wouldn't really want to do that. Although, uh, maybe maybe it would depend on the team. I mean, do you think the Wolves want to play a center next to Towns and have Towns be the offensive power forward? I wouldn't really think so. Kings have a log jam. I think the Pelicans are fine with Derek Favors and then Zion sometimes at center. Suns have Aiton, Spurs have Aldridge, Blazers, I don't think they want to shake anything up right now. Grizzlies, Thunder, no. The Mavs made their center move between Kleba and Dwight Powell moving forward. I think they're fine. And then you're getting into the really good teams, which I'm sure Houston does not want to help out. And I'm sure that they don't want to trade Capella to Golden State either because they'll be back next season. So, I don't know, man. It's it, it remains a very interesting thing. Like, what is a center worth and... Can you just, as, as we say, can you just get by on these good enough low salary centers and have the majority of your cap be towards shooting and perimeter defense and ball handling? So we'll see what happens. Again, Daryl Morey makes all this very interesting because he is willing to get weird with multi-team trades and he will get heartless with moves and he will throw in an extra pick if he really is determined to get somebody. So that is cool for the sake of entertainment for the sake of improving the houston rockets that is a wait and see